Coach Keller, thank you for taking time with us off the block blog. Um, I'm guessing that you're not uh, super happy with the performance of your team tonight, uh, being uh, pushed to five sets uh, at home. Uh, what is your um, initial takeaway from this match? Uh, I think Concordia played really well, uh, really, really well. I think they covered incredibly. They passed nails. They battled. They scrapped. And uh, I think a lot of credit needs to go towards them. I thought we were good at times. I thought we were bad at times. And I think at the very end, we kind of showed a little bit more of what we were about uh, at the very end of the, the, the fifth set, I would say. Uh, you're, never, you're never like stoked about all that because you're a coach and you're a perfectionist, but a win's a win, and we need wins. Would you, in terms of um, not playing crisply, was this one of the um, uglier matches that you guys uh, had in terms of from a uh, performance standpoint? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, there's just moments where we're doing things really, really well, and there's just moments where we're just kind of off, and sometimes there are old mistakes coming up, sometimes there are new ones, and that's just part of growth. I think it goes back to some of the injuries we've had, and we're trying to find rhythm, and there's going to be some bumps along the way as we uh, go through this. Again, I, I think you got to really credit Concordia. They freaking brought it. They played really good ball tonight. Maybe it's because it was a single setter. Maybe it was because uh, it was the um, match that it seemed like you guys had um, were challenged from a coaching standpoint. You guys made a lot of adjustments. Uh, mm -hmm. was, yeah. was this um, probably the match this year that you guys probably were challenged the most from a coaching standpoint? Just, you know, some guys may be off here or it's just not quite there. We have some depth. Some guys are playing well in the gym. Some good chances for opportunities for your guys. Uh, we've talked throughout this entire year about our depth. So this is a good example of our depth coming through. You know, Vandal's been libero and outside and opposite, and you did a great job for us tonight. And that goes for JT being libero and Ollie coming in like he's been doing. He's been playing really well. And it just, I mean, there's more. I mean, just Arnest goes out early, comes back, plays really well at the end. So I just think there's just a credit to our depth. Let's talk about those uh, two uh, mm -hmm. uh, adjustments that you just referenced. Um, Bantel started the fourth set. What was, what was the reasoning behind that? You have to ask John about that. I, I, I totally agreed with it. I, I think if my guess was it was like a passing standpoint, he brought a little more ball control. His serve is really good. Um, Hess's serve was a little off tonight, and so I think that allowed us to bring another passer and a ball control guy because I personally thought we were losing the serve and pass battle. We served a lot of balls out, and we had 25 errors and seven aces, and they had like two aces and like 10 or 13 misses. So, I mean, that's pretty big discrepancy there. So I think bringing Bantle in was a little bit more for the ball control aspect of it would be my guess. And then JT, what uh, went in, into that decision to put him at Libero? Again, another guy can play multiple positions. And so I think he just came in. He's been playing really well in the gym the last couple of weeks. And so this is an opportunity to, to get him in the game, in the passing lanes. And that's something he does really well for us. So um, I think that was just that. You, you, so you've been uh, having him practice as a libero? In no, oh, no. Oh. He's played libero though before. I mean, he's played at his freshman year, I think, two or three matches or something like that. He's played a libero, so it's not something that's unfamiliar to him. But you know. he, he seemed pretty happy to be a libero tonight. Yeah. Um, can we expect that uh, these um, adjustments might be something that we can see in future matches? Uh, I, I don't. I don't know. I think we need to still worry about getting healthy. I think this week off is going to be great for us. Um, finals week and letting them kind of recoup and, and gear up and get ready. We have a big match and you said I think it was 10 days or something like that the following Wednesday against SC. It's a huge match against the rival and another great opponent. And so I think it's about getting everyone healthy and seeing what we have in front of us. Want to preview that match for us? they're good. I mean, I think Nygaard and his staff have done a great job. I know they've been battling some injuries as well, but you know, they added uh, Gianluca Grasso. He brings a, a great element to that team. He brings ball control, fire, um, range, and a great serve, and I think that was like a missing component they, they needed. They have it, and so uh, he adds just, he makes everything else kind of go around him, so I'd have to look at film. I know they've made some moves. I think Moss went to the middle for a little bit, and uh, Lasson went to the right. I think there's been some changes in the SC uh, lineup too. Um, you mentioned that uh, you have that 10-day layoff. Um, that the uh, your uh, student athletes are going to be taking finals. So how are you going to 
uh, approach that, how you're going to balance their need to study and pass yeah. those finals versus uh, staying sharp in, in the gym. We're going to we're going to let them take the finals. So we're going to you know we're going to let them study. We're not going to have practice until late, later on in the week. Um, we'll have plenty of time to prep and get ready for SC, but right now it's about the academic side of things, which ultimately I know we're here for volleyball, but that is the most <laughs> important component of all this. I mean, that's kind of uh, these, these kids getting ready for the real world, and so they need this time to study and, and buckle down and get going. Well, thank you for taking your time with us off the block blog, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. And I wish the, the rest of the audience could see your mustache, man. It's unbelievable.